NT title time, Gav, for the Amcars. This is going to be an absolute curler. Yeah. McKinnell and Kime off the front row. Been brewing all week. Ray Kime is the reigning champ out of Newcastle. Lee McKinnell will... Fair to say they've been the standouts, qualified on the front row, and I've got a feeling traffic will play a part in this one, Teague. 30 laps is a long way around Northline Speedway. We always just wish everybody a safe journey. Let's enjoy this battle for the right to carry the number one for the Territory for 12 months. McKinnell already just doing a nice job. A couple of car lengths over Ray Kime. Kevin's next in line. Spano's done a nice job. Gutierrez in that 39 in fourth. Looks good. He's got a nice spot just to get through the first 10 to 15 laps, and I'm sure this one will get spicy once they get to the back markers. Boy, Ray Kime has stepped up the pace. Lee McKinnell, I thought, was going to just edge his way clear. Teagues, we've talked about those heat races. Every time you put five laps away, He's further up the road, but Ray Kaim has stepped up and already we're into the back markers as Kevin Stowe still keeps a little gap between he and Spano Gutierrez. Look at that move through the back markers from Lee McKinnell. That's all class, isn't it? Yeah, that was a very cool move. Just split the two back markers and got on through Ray Kaim. Didn't waste any time getting around them as well. Stowe and Gutierrez, the next to come through there. Shane Newstead just in behind them in fifth place. Cool to see the battle going on between restart. That's impressive from Deegan, isn't it? To go after Newstead. Shane's been strong. He's well and truly been inside of the top four or five that we've been talking about over the last two nights. And for Deegan Sherwood to be right there on his tail is a good result. Ray Kime, he might be keeping a little up his sleeve. We're going to find out in about 20-odd laps because I feel like Lee McKinnell's doing a nice job, but how much has Ray got left? The defending champion within half a car now. Look at them drop off Kevin Stowe. The Q17 back in third. Spano Gutierrez, the New South Wales 39 in fourth. And it's Shane Newstead, the New South Wales 27. So then he's moving about the track. He's up, he's down, he's around. He's changing his race lines just to see where he can gain a little advantage over the 76. Now, when he chooses the time, will he unload that and use it to full effect? Will he show the nose? Will he just... How will this play out? That's the science and a little bit of a chess match going on here at the moment. Kevin Stowe maintains third. Spano Gutierrez next in line. Shane Newstead is still in fifth, but all eyes on this leading pair. The green number 76, Lee McKinnell, trying to upstage the defending territory champion from New South Wales, Ray Keim. Boy, they've shadowed each other, Teagues. And to be fair, we should not be surprised. As we talked about last night, we can't wait to the moment these guys are put together in the feature. We never saw them square off in a heat race. Until now, 15 laps, we're halfway home. Back mark is still just ahead of the race leader and second place. There's the further back in the field battle. Stowe, Gutierrez, and just at the back, Shane Newstead. As all corn. He's trying to work his way through behind a few cars down the back. Deegan Sherwood trying to get around a couple of back markers to meet the back end of Newstead, who is right on the tail of. 26 car now takes a spin. It'll bring on another caution for us. Nice pace there from McKinnell to bring the guys around to green. Kime sticks with him on this restart. Stowe under pressure from Gutierrez. Just edges ahead of Gutierrez, does Stowe. Deegan just drops off the back of Newstead here. Newstead has a good run. Has a look around the top of Gutierrez through three and four. Distance opened up there in nice, slow fashion. He'd want to slow down the likes of Kime. Kime goes straight to the midline track. Here we go, Gav. Side by side, out of turn number two. McKinnell just held onto the pace, but Kime looks like he has it on the top side of the track. Gets some good momentum. It's a drag race down the front straightaway. McKinnell just checks up a little bit here. They go panel to panel through turns one and two once again. There'll be three left to run here as Kaim winds it up through three and four once again. Real chess match, isn't it? He ranges up on the outside. Has he got the momentum? 
He'll drive it deep, try to cut back down. McKinnell knows he's got himself a race. Spano's watching on from third. Two to run, Teagues. Ray Kime, the reigning champ, hasn't led a lap yet. He's got two laps to get him. Kime has a look around the top side once again. Almost looks like he has the drive there. The white flag's going to show for the NT title this last time. One left to run. Kime moves back down to the low side. McKinnell receives the white flag. He knows he has one to get the job done. Pick himself up an NT title here. Lap traffic just ahead, but only half a lap left in this one. Kime has a big drive down the back straight, but has a few car lengths between himself. Check a flag is out, and your new NT champion is Lee McKinnell. Raymond Kime crosses the line in second. Spano Gutierrez across the line in third. What a run that was. Kevin Stowe crossed the line in fourth. Back to Shane Newstead in fifth. Deegan Sherwood crossed the line in sixth. And Mark Alcorn got his way back up to seventh. Grab a quick word with the podium. And Gav down very shortly. But come on, Darwin. Put your hands together as he rolls around. Turns one and two. Your new NT champion, Lee McKinnell. What a result. Is the wings, is the top strong enough to get up and... Come on, Northline, how about some noise for your territory champion, Lee McKinnell. Sure it's strong enough. Hell yeah. Lee didn't leave us a lot of room here. How good was that? Well done. Thanks, mate. Yeah, the car just in those last couple laps just started to go off a little bit, and I thought, oh, just... Just, just get it done. Just get it done. But, oh, mate, awesome. I can't thank, I can't thank my dad and um, Daryl and Kempi um, enough. Um, Daryl, we're from Queensland, Brisbane, and uh, do a lot of racing down there. And we really wanted to come and do the state titles this year. And um, we're lucky enough that we hadn't missed the Northern Territory title. And we thought, no better way to start the season for us. We'll come up here. And, mate, unbelievable. You guys do a fantastic job, honestly.